What's up everybody? How's it going today in YouTube land? I wanted to do a quick video and show everybody what is inside my black pack. So it's one of those things that, you know, it, I don't know if you guys ever think about it. It might just be me. I might just be weird like that. But I see these guys kayaking and I watch other YouTubers and I'm like, where have they got in their black pack? You know, what's in their crate in the back? And if you've got a milk crate, like so, then most people can see that. But if you're like me and you're a kayaker and you've got a black pack, it's kind of mysterious and people always want to know what's in your black pack. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys what's in my black pack for a general day of bass fishing. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this sucker open just like this and on top. And this is in... This is in no specific order, guys. Um, first things first, I keep a bag of plastics. And this is probably overkill, trust me. I know you don't have to tell me, but I keep my random bag of plastics, trailers, worms, you name it. Got my bag of plastics in there. Next thing, I've got hard baits. More hard baits. Worms. Wacky rigs, that sort of thing. Jigs. Another mixture, top water jigs. Basically, I keep with me one, two, three, four. I keep with me five of this size of plastic Plano boxes, this style of thing. And it might be a little bit of overkill, but I'm very indecisive when it comes to fishing and I never know what I'm gonna need. So these are ever evolving too. I will change it out all the time and put new baits in, take baits out, that sort of thing. So I stashed five of those in there. I have a small pair of grips, the metal kind. And now these I will take out of the black pack when I get into my yak and I fasten them to my seat. I have a larger pair of fish grips. Same thing with these. I will fasten them to my seat whenever. And I, I do that with the retractable lanyards right here, guys. And that way I don't lose them and I can get to them real, real quick and in a hurry. I have my pliers. These are wire cutters, or wire cutters, line cutters and pliers, and these will also attach to my seat as well once I get into the kayak. I keep an extra GoPro clip mount in case I want to, you know, do something with one of my GoPros and take it off of their stationary mounts. I will have this and I can clip it on somewhere. Keep that with me at all times wherever I go. Digital scale. Always got to have one of those. I also have a bunch of, you guys, I know you're going to ream me for this, but look at this. I have plastics, some more plastics, oh wait, some more plastics, some more plastics. I keep a lot of plastics on hand, guys. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that it's something I feel like I have to have with me because I never know what I'm going to need. I keep JJ's Magic. A little jar of that. Always have one of those in there. If you got plastics, you got to have that as well. I also keep a roll of tape. A little lantern style light. I don't even know that I've ever used this, but it works. So I keep that just in case. You never know when you're going to have to have that. Real magic. You guys always got to have some real magic or something like that on you. I got some extra jigs. I keep an extra Yumbrella A-Rig. I have a set of like worm style hooks, live bait hooks, just in case. I have a drop shot kit. This is my hook case. I keep all my random hooks, some weights, that sort of thing, my offset hooks, my uh, shaky head jigs, uh, just that sort of thing. All, all my extra hooks I keep in there. 
I have a weight kit, just in case I need some extra weight. My braid scissors, because I do fish with a lot of braids, uh, braided lines, so it's these things, the braid scissors are amazing guys. If, if you don't have them, get some, they work out great. And what I'll do is I'll take these out also once I get in my yak and I'll leave them on the deck in case I need to get to them quick. So, And from there I have basically a stringer just in case I decide I want to take some fish home with me. And I never go fishing without a book of maps. And I've got a couple different books like this. And basically this is just a southern Illinois fishing maps and it's got information about all the lakes and that sort of thing that might be in my area that I'm fishing with. Always have this on hand, um, just one of the personal preferences, that sort of thing. So, well now that I've shared with you guys what's in my black pack, I feel like you know me better than I know you. So comment below guys, uh, name some stuff that you keep in your black pack if... Uh, if it's different than mine, if there's something special that you always have to have in there, let me know. And like I said, this is a, kind of just an overall general of what I would keep in there on a just a, your average day. Obviously, if it's cold out, I'm going to keep some extra face masks in here. I'll have an extra pair of gloves, that sort of thing, just because it's, it's more of a weather situ situational type of thing. I do have a dry bag that I keep up front as well that I'll keep extra clothes in and that sort of thing but as far as my black pack goes that is just about it so there you have it guys that's what i keep in my black pack i hope you're happy i've bared my soul for you so to speak so like i said comment below if there's something different inside your crate slash backpack that i don't have and if you guys got any questions at all make sure you leave that below in the comment section or if you just want to comment and tell me just you know how good looking my black pack is by all means do so guys i want to thank everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so if you haven't clicked that little thumb pointing up do that as well that would really help me out guys so once again guys thank you for watching i want you to make sure you make every single day count guys we don't have a whole lot of time on this planet so the time we do have make sure you spend it doing it what you love because that's what i do so once again thanks for watching guys i'm out of here